This episode is sponsored by Opinion Outpost. If you didn't know, Opinion Outpost is a website that gives you money for taking surveys. It's really easy, and I've done the channel in the past, and people really seem to enjoy it, so I'm doing it again. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. Welcome back to What a Glitch, the most appealing show around. Today we have Donkey Kong Country 2, a game about monkeys, bananas, pirates, bananas, climbing, and most importantly to this video, glitches. You thought I was gonna say bananas, didn't you? There are many, many small glitches littered throughout the game, but there are a few huge glitches as well, and we're here to talk about them. Just to let you know, all of the glitches shown are being played on the SNES version and cannot be reliably replicated on the GBA version. We should also probably mention that we're not going to talk about all the glitches in this game, heck, not even a decent chunk of them. So enough monkeying around. Let's just get into these glitches already. Our first glitch is probably the most explosive and volatile. Before starting, note that it'll only work on the SNES and Wii U Virtual Console versions. Now, before performing this glitch, you should know that it has a chance of corrupting your save file. And some people even say that it's corrupted the cartridge or ROM itself. Interestingly, this is one of the easiest glitches to perform in the game. Okay, first off, you need to be playing as Diddy, not Dixie, and you need to be on the level Castle Crush. You can have Dixie as a partner, but you can't actively be playing as her. You need to keep Diddy alive until you reach the first DK barrel. This barrel is the root of the glitch and is mandatory in order to perform it. Now you need to pick up the barrel as Diddy and run into any wall, but it works most often if you're running into the one right by the barrel. You now need to drop the barrel and quickly pick it up a few frames after you drop it. You'll know it worked if you see Diddy holding nothing. At this point, you simply need to throw the barrel and watch the fireworks fly. The results of this glitch vary depending on many different variables, including what release version you're playing on, if you're playing on an emulator, which emulator you're using, and even what stage you played last. The most common effect of this glitch creates a Rambi barrel that turns Diddy into either a discolored clubba or a black cleaver, followed by a hard lock. However, sometimes Diddy will just turn into air and nothing happens. Or on very, very rare occasions, the game will just crash. What's even more interesting is that there's no definitive explanation for why this glitch occurs. It's most likely that breaking a DK barrel without releasing a Kong, or letting it get destroyed, transfers the nearest stationary object to the barrel's position. Most of the time, that object will be the Rambi barrel. But if you wait a bit longer, you can even transfer a Neek or a Crook. The reason the game freaks out when you enter an animal barrel instead of giving you Rambi is still mostly unknown. No matter the reason, this is definitely the most volatile glitch in the entire Donkey Kong Country series. In the stage Screech's Sprint, you have to race against Screech the Eagle as Squawks the Parrot. This race requires you to maneuver around brambles and zingers and can be very difficult for newer or more unskilled players. However, there's a relatively easy way to bypass the race entirely. You don't need anything special in order to perform this glitch, but having a partner helps a lot. Once you get the Squawks Barrel, you need to continue on until you see Screech on the left side of the screen. You now need to do one of two things depending on whether or not you have a partner. If you don't have a partner, you need to cautiously fly over Screech's head in order to prevent the event trigger that starts the race. If you do have a partner, all you need to do is conk your head on the brambles and fly left as fast as you can. The reason this glitch works is because the event trigger to start the race is only activated after you cross under Screech. The programmers never expected the player to fly over Screech, so they just didn't extend the trigger upward. Now you can take the level at your own pace without fear of losing the race. This next glitch is a rather simple one. In order to get it to work, you need both Kongs and must be on the stage rattle back. Battle. Play through the level normally until you reach the no animal sign. At this point you have to backtrack to the up arrow made out of bananas where the bonus barrel is. But no matter how hard you try, you won't be able to get up there, even with a team throw. Luckily for us, there's a jumping Kremlin nearby. If you lure it over to where you are, bounce off of it, and then team throw, you can enter the bonus stage. This bonus barrel automatically gives you Rattly, and since neither Kong is present when using Rattly normally, they don't show up. But since the Kongs are present, the game locks the primary Kong on top of Rattly, as if climbing a vine, while the other Kong lags behind and follows. However, you may notice that the second Kong has the same jump height as Rattly, and also doesn't have a jump animation. It's kind of hilarious actually, seeing Diddy fly up and down like some kind of banana-fueled ragdoll. There's not much of a point to this glitch, but it definitely is fun and easy to pull off. 
The final glitch for today is somewhat of a throwaway, but it's easily one of the most interesting of all, especially since it's a repeat glitch that also appeared in the original Donkey Kong Country. Many DKC veterans know about the Rambi glitch. It replaced Rambi's sprite and animations with Donkey Kong's, yet it kept Rambi's palette. The same glitch appears in Donkey Kong Country 2, although it's far less useful and generally less impressive. Even pulling it off is more difficult. In order to execute this glitch, you need to be playing in Pirate Panic, and you need to have the clobber barrel from near the end of the stage with you. First, park Rambi on the small ledge by the no animal sign. Next, you have to take the clobber barrel and place it right next to the ledge. Here comes the most difficult part, so be prepared. You must team up with your second party member and throw them diagonally up and to the right at roughly the same time as the clobber coming out of its barrel. If you throw too early, you'll teleport to the other Kong without Rambi, and if you throw too late, they'll be knocked back with you, or they'll hit the clobber and you have to start over. But if you time it just right, the clobber bumps into you, sending the primary Kong on to Rambi. However, because the other Kong you threw is still in the air, it lands and brings you to their location. While normally this would just take your primary Kong and nothing else since you can't move during a throw, you happen to be aboard Rambi, so he's brought with you. Doing this ignores the no animal sign event, meaning that you're able to take him to the goal. When you try to hit the goal with him, he turns into a strangely palleted version of your primary Kong, which makes for a pretty interesting animation. Things get even better when you try out the glitch as Dixie Kong. This glitch is fun to look at, but it isn't practical or useful. So those are all the glitches worth talking about in Donkey Kong Country 2. As we mentioned earlier, there are many more glitches in this game, but these are a few of the interesting ones. If you want to learn about more of them, look them up for yourself, or even just fiddle around. You're bound to find something. Special thanks to the original finders of these glitches, and even special lure thanks to the people that are able to explain them in layman's terms. These videos wouldn't be possible without you guys. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like or even subscribe. And if you liked hearing my voice, you can hear more of it on my channel, Snowman Gaming. In fact, right now I'm celebrating Donkey Kong Month and have a ton of DK content over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.